Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Suzerian. So last time we had a big meeting about all of our diplomatic uh, adventures, basically. About like military trade, uh, learning about all the countries that border us. Most of them seem to be on decent terms, so I mean that's nice. Or we're about to have a breeding on the results of the reform committee. I came a little early to the meeting room before anybody showed up. We had scheduled a meeting to discuss the progress of the reform committee regarding the new constitution. I took a seat in the center chair in a vacant meeting room as I waited for them to show up. The reforms are slowly becoming the most significant expectation of my government. We will be changing Seoul's constitution of 29. Most people nowadays blame the constitution for the outstanding problems of the country. On the other hand, the reformists in the assembly have been getting louder about their demands. What I knew for sure was that I needed to do something about the encroaching chaos for it swallowed me. Meanwhile, Lucy and Peter and Nia had been leading the committee to prepare an initial draft for the constituency amendments. I was intrigued to hear their results. There was a knock on the door. It was Lucien. Good afternoon, sir. Lucien arrived exactly on the hour mark again. His punctuality could almost be described as deceptive. Are you waiting behind a door to come in at the exact second? I'm sorry, sir. For forget it. How are you today? I'm good, Mr. President. Thank you for asking. He took a seat at the table and took out a bunch of documents, spreading them on the long table. We should begin a meeting as soon as Mrs. Morgana and Mr. Vice President arrives. We finally have the results for the reform committee. Uh, how does it look? Well, the situation is quite, uh, quite complicated, but I'm sure we'll make it work, just like we accomplished many things before. We'll go over the details regarding a new constitution in the meeting. A few minutes later, Peter and Nia also arrive. After a short chat, everybody sat down and looked at their notes. I knew it was going to be a long meeting. Peter Vectvin. There are a lot of talks uh, going on about the future of the process. Let us begin to tackle the points of contention. You are the yeah, Minister of Justice. Mr. President, our committee meetings were rather fruitful, and we are already started working on a constitutional draft together with the reformist. They're demanding a little bit too much, but I've assessed with Franz Richter to create a realistic draft that could potentially go through the Supreme Court. Franz Richter is... You're the leader of the reformist, I, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure on that. A little. They demanded to rewrite the whole constitution. The requests were, def were definitely not outrageous, just not realistic in today's circumstances. Just because I want to pass the assembly. N nonetheless, I I'm glad we're reaching common ground today. If we reach the agreement with the reformists, we'll be very strong in the assembly opposed to the change. Can we reach a two-thirds majority in the assembly? If you get friends regular to work with you on this, our only problem would be uniting our own party. Uh, we'll never be able to get the NFP to work with us. We need a majority of 130 seats in the assembly to vote in our favor. With the PFJP full support of 70 votes, we can easily pass the needed 166. But it'll be tough to unite the USP with all the virgin wings that are formed. You must make them follow you loyally. We'll need to convince the leads. Albion and Calvin and his reformist wing would be supporting you. He already weighed in heavily on the committee meeting. Can I actually see within our own party? We have 130 seats. But, like, how many of our seats are actually... We see the judiciary. Right, like, it's... I mean, I see the factions. I, just, I don't know how popular each faction is, unfortunately. Uh, however, the conservatives would be tough to break. The influence of Seoul is still living strong in the party. How many votes do they have? The conservatives have around 40 seats. Uh, they are unaligned people and some of you are loyalists. I uh, might decide to show their true faces too. So we need to make as many conservatives to support us. There's only one person who's key to make them, ba uh, to make them back us. Gloria Tori. She's been well respected with the Seoul list. She is our biggest obstacle in the assembly and, she, and, her, and her demands will be extensive. You are the leader of... Again, we just want, we just want to make sure that we know who we're dealing with. You are the speaker. Okay, you're the speaker of the Grand Assembly. Okay. I also have reasons... Okay, okay, I didn't listen here. I also have reasons to think that she might be in Orsel's pocket. She'll be tough to break. We need her help to get the conservative support. Is it possible to pass the Supreme Court? They are the biggest obstacle. Even when we pass the Assembly, the Chief Justice will do his best to block our amendments. We need at least six of the 11 judges to vote for proposal, but Mr. Hawker has enormous influence over the judges. We should reach out to judges in secret. Some of them might be willing to break rank to support us. By all means, are, all means are to be considered in order to succeed. 
Neo was taken aback by the statement. According to the Constitution, I'm a member of the Supreme Court, which means we already have one vote. Thank you. The two judges are, are friends of mine, and so their opinion about the reforms, consider them with me. So we got three votes. That doesn't seem very good. I keep clicking the wrong button. We have... Yeah, no, we have, we have three, three out of 11 seats. That doesn't seem very good. So we have three votes out of 11. Three votes, yes, but I believe Judge Edmonds can be persuaded as well. She and, she and two other judges, Mr. Dalton and Mr. Matt Martin, we aren't really blinded by... They aren't... They weren't really blinded by the Swallows ideology. Yes, those three don't seem to be working directly with the Chief Justice Hawker. If we can get Isabel Edmonds, we might be getting the seats vote needed. That's her best bet. I mean, what, what are the demands? We should write down each of the main demands of the committee. To get your input first, Mr. Ragana can explain them further. We'll start with the first red line. The new constitution will fix the loopholes regarding the president's absolute veto powers. You know, Mr. Victor puts a whole show about why vetoes should completely be removed. The committee has almost unanimously agreed on fixing the loose holes, thus limiting presidential vetoes. My suggestion is to add a clause detailing the methods for assembly may override a veto with some sort of supermajority. One person should never be able to block the rest. I'm not going to completely remove the veto. The loopholes uh, give the president too much power, which could be misused. Whatever you decide is important for a balanced picture. We will be making history by changing the 29th Constitution of Seoul. The section one, the second one is about the judiciary. The new constitution will remove the Supreme Court's right to vote on legislation. This is yet another point which was unanimously agreed on by the parties. Tark and Seoul established this rule to protect his 29th constitution. We all know most of the judges are still his pawns. Constitutional amendments will still be very difficult to accomplish with forms like this, particularly because we will be keeping a two, uh, the two-thirds vote system to be able to uh, propose a change. However, the judiciary will not have the final say in the amendments. We need a court to even pass this change. Why on earth would they support this? Most of them won't. We've already talked We've, we've already talked about my vote and possible line with Isabel, uh, which may change things. Apart from these two critical points, we have other major demands. They want to reform the appointment procedure for the ministers. Mr. Victor clarified that the assembly should have a say in the formation of a council of ministers. It is something that a majority of our party also supports. Mr. Victor also talked about abolishing the member of honor rights of Tark and Soul that gave him absolute immunity and makes him a permanent member of the assembly. Member of honor rights. Well, that is a controversial one. I doubt the USP would be uh, would like that. The immunity of the justice, the impeachment of the president, eliminating the powers of special decrees, all this came up during the committee meetings. Yes, reforms make big reforms, while our faction USP is not very keen on pushing changes that are far too great. I think keeping everything in the middle ground is the safest bet, no need to agitate anybody too much. You know, they have valid concerns that we do need to look at. I'll keep working with them to keep you updated, Mr. President. Well, regardless of what Mr. Rain decides, we will need to work together to push this agenda. Now we have a better picture for institution our intentions, sir. We'll start reaching out with my contacts and make the draft work for us. I'll present your input to the committee. In a few months, you'll be able to have a draft on your desk to make the final changes yourself. This is yet another fruitful meeting, sir. Together, we will democratize Sorland, and you have my full support, Mr. President. Ours, too, of course. Yes, sir. Thank you for the time. I think this is where we'll call it, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, Lucian. So, anything else happening? I know there's something else in the capital. What's going on here? Young sword members claim links to the government. Police overburden S-Stored. Just a situation report. Uh, I'd say border is tense. Remember, Southern Army decided training close to our border. Did not respond when issued a radio message. I mean, it could, could, could be worrying. Communist Party leader expected a bomb attack at 11.48. An unattended bang in front of the NFP office by Valgan was destroyed by the police's position of bomb threat, which were then verified. Upon further investigation, the Communist Party leader, Valgan, has been arrested in connection to the incident. Uh, what else is going on? United Canton Assembly helped protesters. Around midnight, right, these protesters clashed with the young swords at the Vestland City Center, resulting in many injuries. The counter protesters were cornered in front of the United Canton Assembly after they were pushed back by the police. The assembly opened its doors and Red Youth members escaped inside. The police are still waiting outside the buildings for the turn of the Red Youth members. Promising industrial potential. Okay, well, I, I think we can go back to here. 
Okay, let's let's read about this. The Stillard State Corporation has reported preparatory work for the L1 railway has already started, including clearing land and transporting equipment. Construction of the railway will be started in the next month from Horse Lord. The leader of the NFP has demanded an emergency be uh, called to address the increasing political violence in the country. He said that without the uh, declaration of emergency, Zorland will be destabilized and the integrity of the country will be damaged even further. Okay. The administration has been working day and night on the overwhelming amount of issues that are facing the country. The department sent several documents with, uh, which are required by signature so they could start working on new decisions that were taken. After I signed dozens of them, I closed my eyes to relax for a moment. After another long day. Even though I real, uh, really wished to leave the palace for a day, Lucian had either told me that the Chief Justice wanted to speak to me, or planned to meet in my office in 30 minutes. I waited for him, wondering what the subject he would raise. I'll pour some whiskey. I eased my mind a little. Suddenly, I heard a knock on the door. It was Lucian. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Lucian. I'm sorry that I couldn't explain the situation to you in detail earlier, sir. The Chief Justice insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know what he has to say, but it'll probably be about the new constitution. You'll be coming shortly with Judge Mr. Grassi to uh, to the meeting. Uh, we shouldn't take them lightly. I think he's here to test the waters. I agree. They'll probably try to get you on their side. We should. There were three knocks at the door. Lucy checked his watch. He looked rather worried. Livian opened the door. Chief Justice Orson Hawkward and Judge Horland Grassi entered the room. Good evening, Mr. President. I, it's great to see you. Evening. Welcome, Justice Grassi and Chief Justice Hawker. Good to, good to see you indeed. Orser gestures at the sofa in the office. May I? Ah, uh, please. Why not? After a law, after we all took our seats to the two opposite sofas and made ourselves comfortable, Orso glanced at the glass of whiskey. Celebrating something, Mr. President? Um. Forgive me. Would you like to have a have a drink? No, thank you. Me neither, thank you. I'd like to say conscious and focused I can. How are your first couple of months, Mr. President? I hope you're faring well. Uh, it's been very good. It's been very busy, but I'm doing good. It'll only get busier yet, and I think you're doing a, a good job so far. Considering all that's happening around us with the shootings near the palace and the soldiers on our borders, you let out a deep side. It's a troubling time. We appreciate your concerns. So, you probably know why you're here. I mean, I don't like any of these options, honestly. I think they're all kind of bad. Um. Ah, you're, you're here to stop the new constitution. We're only here to tell you that the Supreme Court does not approve of the attempt to change the constitution. With all due respect, the constitution needs to be updated, sir. I am sure you are well aware of the public demand and our circumstances. Is that so? I see that you are... Wait, no. I see that you are the one who is not aware of our actual circumstances. You want to make a weird constitution in the midst of problems from both inside and outside? You know your proposal passes the assembly. I'll make sure it not, does not pass the Supreme Court. That much is clear. I mean, you haven't, even, yeah, I haven't even seen the proposal yet, Mr. Hawker. Isn't it too soon to be against it? You think I live on a rock, Mr. President? I know what's going on. Yet you, Mr. President, seem to be only partially informed about the current situation. Please let us explain the reasons for our stance. I mean, let's hear it. We are protecting the Constitution because it works, Mr. President. It's an efficient and it gives you the authority to lead the nation with swift decisions. Sorland has more important problems and threats than we should face right now. Instead of nitpicking about some paragraphs of the Constitution, we have a potential war within our borders. Orso signaled Heron with his hand to let him speak instead. Mr. President, I know that you are a busy man, so I'll make this quick. We all know that Sorland's security forces found stashes of ruby and weapons in hideouts of British separatists. KA-74 is uh, roaming inside Sorland at this moment. As much as Rubenberg posed a direct threat, it is clear that they are also intervening in our country, weaponizing our minorities against us. It's not a precedent to think that the Bloods... The Bloods? I'm not sure you're supposed to say that. Uh, will start our terror again with their new toys. Not to mention the fights have broken up between the left and the right after the shooting of Bernard Circus. Communists are rising with support of United Katana. The chaos is eminent in Swordland. And sadly, we don't see the administration taking the necessary precautions. You, say you're, uh, you said you will not focus on military during your term. Under current circumstances, uh, that cannot be tolerated at any cost. Mr. 
Mr. Hawk of the court has no jurisdiction over these matters. Aren't we all part of this state, Mr. President? We are responsible if Sorlin fails to overcome these threats. Regardless of that, are you also aware that the armed blue separatists have direct connections with the Workers' Party of Bludia? Do we know that? Yeah, there are some claims which are not proven and have been numerously denied by his members in 1949. The parties before his early chairman won six times the vote. I mean, they claim otherwise. They may claim that they have no ties to separatists, but most of their members used to be part of them before they formed the Workers' Party of Lydia. How about the name, Mr. President? It's not like the Workers' Party of Sorland, is it? As far as I'm aware, there's no nation called Bloody around here. What is this all about? The only reason they are not in the assembly is because of the election threshold. They've gotten quite big. They're certainly getting outside help, and their connections to the paramilitary British forces cannot be denied. And all of a sudden, the reforms are trying to increase the electoral threshold, so that the British separatists can be legitimized in the assembly to achieve their aims of independence. Is Mr. Richter... You think, do you think that of Mr. Richter... Is he British? Because otherwise, I, I don't understand why... I mean, I don't see anything here. I expect his intentions are grander, but I only wish... But I wish the only issues were the Blue Terrace and Rundberg. Reformers suggest changes would also bring uh, the communists who are backed by United, Kanda into, by United Katana into the assembly. Do you see the pattern yet? Are you saying the reformers are working with four for foreign powers? Haven't you been briefed by your security team? Maybe you should inspect them as well. We should take necessary measures against communist and British plots, as well as decreasing the military budget against possible conflict with Rundberg. And of course, not fall into the trap of the reformers by uh, listening to their demands. They are clearly plotting to weaken the president or whole administration in order to exploit the situation. Which brings us to some very important information that we have. It's definitely something that you need to hear and can cha absolutely change everything. With all due respect, Mr. President, I think this is getting slightly ridiculous. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. Please explain. First in the question is Mr. Franz Richter himself, the leader of the reformist. We have enough information to infer that he has ties with Arcasia. Arcasia is aggressively growing in influence around the world, and now uh, we have Mr. Richter coming up with these ridiculous demands for a new constitution amidst the chaotic period of Sorland. All the pieces seem to fit perfectly, and that's why the Supreme Court will be doing what it takes to stop these reforms and to preserve the Constitution. How would you know that Mr. Richter has ties to Arcasia? Mr. Glade, we all been in we all know he has been in Carcasia many times because it's well documented. What do you think he has been making hidden well what do you think but what would you think he'd been taking hidden flights to the country? I don't, like, I don't, honestly, like, I don't believe them. I do not. I, I honestly don't believe you. Believe what you will, Mr. President, but at least hear me out. You've been spotted in the Hotel of uh, Vercasia last year, where they held a conference of economic development in volatile regions. Right around that time, you started to influence the masses into believing our constitution is the reason for everything, for everything bad. His trip was not documented, nor was he an official guest of the conference. We believe he had a meeting with President Walker behind closed doors. I also have a couple more photos of him that were taken in Arcasia in different cities. One from a couple of months back. Again, none of it is documented. He also attended another event in Lesbia last week. The Arcasia Foreign Minister was there too. How can any of these be undocumented? We don't know. Even if he used a private plane, we'd be able to get information on his flight. That means he has people helping him from inside. Many solists were already following his leads for some quite uh, for quite some time, Mr. President. I cannot give away their identities, but I can give you the evidence. He hands me a small file. It contained official documentation documents for the Swords Border Guard, uh, with highlighted dates that showed no trace of Mr. Freck's name. Or Franz Richter's name. There were clear photos of him that were taken at the Conference of Arcasia, as well as remarks from lesbian Arcasian citizens who claimed to have seen him with Arcasian businessmen around the same dates. There are also an official transcript of one of his speeches where he claimed to be in Benfi on the dates for the Conference of Acasia, where he was spotted. Lucian skimmed through the documents of skepticism, but slowly turned it into surprise. They seem to be real. Of course they're real, Mr. Glade. 
Uh, they seem to suggest Arcasia is behind the reformist. Their demands will only affect Arcasia, will only benefit Arcasia. They want us to have a weaker administration while we face all these threats. But, okay, if Arcasia wants to stabilize us, how does that help them? Because if it's going to give more power to the communist, who Arcasia is opposed to because they're in the, they're in the Cold War against the United Katana, would that not benefit United Katana if the communists get more support in the country? And the the bloodish rise up and weaken the country inside. Like, how does that help them? I bet Runeberg is part of their plan too. It's gonna be a coincidence that they're weaponizing their minorities against us around the same time. Now that you understand the reason for our current stance, all suspicions for your by your advisors who are clearly not giving you this vital information, Lucian, give him a sharp look. We appreciate the information, Mr. Hawker, but I advise against jumping to conclusions right away. We still need to check the information. There's not much to think or check. This is clearly an emergency. In some cases, the Constitution gives the President the right to use his emergency powers. If we work together, we can ensure that the Supreme Court will not block your declaration of emergency. I, I'm still, I honestly, I'm still too sad to all these. Mr. Hawker, I'll have to decline. Is these are influenced by Mr. Gladday way more than you think? I don't think so. Is that, is that supposed to be Mr. Hawker? Why don't you explain your agenda yourself, Lucian? You are swaying the president to ignore national security threats? I'm not being swayed by anyone, Mr. Hawker. It's my own decision. Say what you will. It's to prove us right once again. And if you believe you can enact these reforms, you are living in a land of dreams. You know what? I think this meeting is over. Even though you're aware of national security threats, you're making a big mistake, Mr. President. We will not allow you to succeed. I know you're the one making the mistakes here. We'll see, Mr. President. We will see. Have a good evening. They both left the room without saying anything else. That was not good. They clearly tried to threaten you. We need to take care of them. Or else we doing whatever it takes to damage you. We need to be careful. There's so many old guard sympathizers in our party. We can't let them divide our party. And he definitely will try. At our short evaluation of the situation at hand, Lucien left me in the president's office. It was obviously the old guards should be my main rival. Oh, did I crash the game? No, I did not. Fantastic. Um. Okay, so like what is next on the agenda? Oh, continue. This. Okay, so actually we're just going to be ending this chapter. Any news we got? Hawker in the Room Palace. Chief Justice was spotted in the Evening Room Palace. Okay, so you know what? We'll, we'll continue the next turn. And with the continuation, the Trials of Democracy. That seems like it could be a little bit foreboding. But I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Swam. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not enjoy, call a sub down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.